Today is Monday, April 22nd, 2024, at least the day that I'm making this video and posting it. And I've just had a lot going on recently, and I I want to do simplified daily videos. I don't want to have to think of like researching a topic. Not that I really have, but uh, I just want to do more simple Bible, Bible readings, talking about whatever's on my mind. And I guess if interesting stuff pops up, I'll talk about it. But I've just been kind of busy. And anyway, so enjoy the more, in my opinion, it's not a bad thing. Like I'll just do Bible readings are cool. And there's so much cool stuff in the Bible. Like today I was, um, well, I could have read Job, but Job now starts to be more of a dialogue thing. Like, oh, Job's friends talking and then Job talks. So reading a single chapter of that is not that interesting because you kind of need to know the response. And so I was like, oh, Psalms. Psalms are cool. Then I was reading some Psalms. Okay, a lot of Psalms about like about being attacked, having enemies. And those are always cool to, to read the... They're like prayer songs that a lot of them, David, King David wrote a lot of these. So it's cool to read those and hear that about being attacked by enemies and asking God for protection. I think a lot of that's really relevant. But then I got to Psalm 19 and I was reminded, oh yeah, Psalm 19. What what a cool psalm and what a, what a huge indicator of the whole NASA rocket lie. And I think it's interesting because one of the biggest things when you start to deny NASA, oh, but the Russians would expose them. Why would they expose the very lie that they're involved in too? All of the countries are involved in the outer space lie. They all want, they all want the plebs to think that they live on a floaty space ball. I think they've done this lie many times before, many history resets ago. They've probably been doing this over and over again. That's why I think they like the Ouroboros so much. Anyways, uh, what a cool example of, if this doesn't make you question things. So, a Nazi engineer who created the V2 rocket has a Bible verse on his gravestone. Out of all the verses, he chose one of the few verses talking about the firmament. Kind of a, an interesting thing. Yeah, the firmament. How come... Churches don't like to talk about the firmament. I think there's tons of gatekeeping. What do they teach them in seminary about the firmament? I would be very interested to know. And, uh, yeah, my pastor even gave, like, kind of a... Was a little bit weirded out when he found out that I read read KJV. I, don't, I wouldn't say weirded out, but... I think that there is a lot of gatekeeping when it comes to... Bible versions, and I think even just reading a, a KJV these days is kind of a outsider thing somehow. Although I think that there's a lot of, I don't know about a lot, but there are some denominations that stick to KJV, and I think that those would be the ones that would be more sympathetic to ideas like the firmament. Anyways, that's today's video. I'm going to read Psalm 19, but it's a really cool thing to bring up how, yeah, people used to know that there's the firmament and that we live under a dome and that earth is flat. That's just the way that people used to know reality was. And it wasn't until the whoever decided first to start the satanic deception of the ball earth. I, I'd be surprised if we even knew at this point. Uh, kind of reminds me of the We Didn't Start the Fire song that they might even be lost to time now. Who who started this whole outer space nonsense? I'd be interested to know. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So what do you know? The person who's in one of the major players in the rocket thing references the firmament on his gravestone, maybe trying to repent with that act i don't know but i think it's clear that that he's letting people know yeah the firmament is real 
And rockets are just glorified bottle rockets. They're just the same as a model rocket. And nobody goes inside of them. They don't launch satellites from that. If there are real satellites out there, they run on balloons. And uh, yeah, rockets are just a big show. It's, it's like a big firework. And they go horizontal at a low altitude. And they just crash them over the ocean where nobody is. And that's the truth of it. So I'm going to finish Psalm 19, and that'll be it for this video. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. I mean, that's another instance, too, the end of the world. The world does have an end to it. And spheres have no, no ends. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. And even, I mean, it continues. This is more biblical cosmology. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. That's more flat earth references. The sun follows a circuit, which is a path over the top of earth. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let, not, let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, my Redeemer. And the Redeemer there, that reminds me of Job, when Job was talking about, Oh, I, I know my Redeemer lives and will stand upon the earth. And Old Testament people knew, they knew about Jesus, that he would be in the future on earth, and they knew that he lived, too. And, yeah, I, that last verse is really cool. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Well, that's it for this video. Have you told people about Psalm 19? This is actually another. I've been bringing this up a few times. This was something that was brought up by a Christian that I know that doesn't like NASA stuff. They brought up the circuit thing, how the the sun follows a circuit. And that that right there tells you that the sun is what's moving, not us. And we would feel it if we were moving because, and this is where they always give you a bad example. They're like, well, if you're in a car and you're, yeah, that's not spinning. Being in a car, going down a highway or being on a train, that's not spinning the earth feels flat and motionless because it is. And we have a dome above us. It's the firmament. And even the, the Nazis knew about the firmament, the rocket builders. So to me, that's undeniable. There's no explanation other than that guy believes in the firmament. Why would you put that on your gravestone? as your? That's like your last thing that you have to say to the world. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless everyone.